Ready? Go! <laughs> He's such a cutie boy! He's such a cutie boy! Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Tuesday, February 7th. And as you can see from the title of the video, we need to do the weigh-ins from weeks 4 and 5. And also, I'm going to go grab a chair real quick because I also need to chat with you guys for a little bit. I would do my absolute best to not make this video extremely boring. I'll actually put the weigh-in here at the beginning of the video for those of you that are just here to see the numbers. But for those of you that are truly following my journey and you feel a little invested, I need to talk to y'all. And for those of you that are new on your weight loss journey, um, if you may be feeling like a little discouraged, I need to talk to you too. So let me grab a chair real quickly. All right, so I also have to do my upper body workout this morning. So if I feel like this video is getting like a little chatty or a little lengthy or a little boring, then I'll put some of my workout like over some of the talking, but we'll see how this goes. All right, so as I mentioned, not holding back as far as the weigh-in goes. Um, those of you that are following the journey, the last time I weighed in was week three. And at that time I was 222.4 pounds. All right, so week four, I had full intentions on editing and uploading that video, um, but it just never happened. Like I never had a chance to edit it. Um, so week four, I weighed in at 223.8. I'll put that here. So that was a gain of like 1.4 pounds, okay? And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that, but we'll come back to it. So then for week five, I weighed in at 222.6. Um, so that was a loss of 1.2 pounds, I guess, which put me close back to week three's weigh in of 222.4. Um, you guys that are new, the lowest weight I've hit on the channel has been 216 pounds on this weight loss journey. Okay, so you guys know I've lost, gosh, I used to say 40 pounds, but I guess now it's like 38. <laughs> I'm still claiming 40 though. I'm still claiming 40. 40 pounds. What I want to talk to you guys about, as you can see from the title of the video, I don't want to send mixed emotion. So I'm just imagining myself as a viewer that's watching Felicia's weight loss journey. I don't want you guys to be discouraged. For those of you that are new or unfamiliar, I recently started lifting weights like towards the end of last year, more so the beginning of this year. Like January is when I made the commitment that I know the body type that I want, so I'm going to start lifting weights and being a little bit more aggressive about it. And I did this knowing that for me, the number on the scale may increase, but I know the body type that I want. Look at, look at my arms. See, this is why I can't, already, like I just started. Okay, sorry y'all, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> okay. So I know the body type that I want and I know that for me sometimes when I lift weights, which is what's happening right now, I tend to gain weight. But I know that overall, like I, underneath the 200 plus pounds, I have a very athletic body and that is what I'm trying to achieve again. So I had to make the mental shift that even if the number on the scale goes up, that I will continue to work on like making my body smaller. And I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but the reason why I wanted to share with you guys, like I don't wanna see you mixed emotions is because if you're new on your weight loss journey, I can see where this can be like so discouraging because you're watching someone who's supposedly on a 100 pound weight loss journey, but yet they're still gaining weight. And not only are they like gaining weight, but they're working hard. You guys, I'm working hard. Like I am putting in the time. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to like upload full blown videos, but if you look into my shorts, you'll see like I've been sharing a few shorts of some of my workouts. I've also been sh sharing more reels over on Instagram reels. So I'm putting in the time and the effort. So I can just imagine like if I'm watching someone and I'm like, gosh, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm watching this person and they're working so hard. Like, what is the point? Like they're still gaining weight. So I just wanted to share with you guys that whenever you're on your weight loss journey, like first identify exactly what is your goal because there is a difference between just losing like overall weight, like just you losing body mass, there's a difference between just losing that weight and like trying to actively lose fat, like fat loss and also gain muscle, which is the phase that I'm currently in. I spent the first year and a half like just focusing on losing weight. That's when I was only primarily just focusing on walking. Like all, that was all I was doing. I wasn't lifting. I just wanted to lose more of me, like more of myself, right? 
and I was just really like in tune with my diet and all of those good things. But now I want to lose more fat. I want to become more lean and I want to build muscle. So in order to build muscle for me, I do need to lift weights. That includes resistance training and that is what I've been doing. So I just wanted to say to you guys, like I don't want to see you mixed emotions. Like is she serious? Yes, I am very serious. It's kind of like I know the end goal. So if I could explain it in an analogy, it's kind of as if Let's say you're going back to school. You're going back to school to get a certificate or degree. For, I'll use myself for example. I'm going back to get my doctorate in physical therapy. And the end goal is to be a physical therapist. So during that process, right, there's like tons of classes that I have to take and you know, you spend many nights studying, all of this stuff, right? So the goal for me, because I'm very like A type personality, all of that good stuff, the goal is to get an A in every class, right? Okay? But hypothetically speaking, if I don't get an A in every class, as long as I make above a C, I will still get the degree. So that's kind of how I look at this journey that I'm currently on. Like my journey is to be a healthier, more lean, more fit version of myself. So when you guys see me do these week to week weigh-ins, my goal, like I am doing the work. The goal is to get an A. The goal is to see the number on the scale go down. But just because the number doesn't go down, it doesn't mean I didn't put in the time. It doesn't mean that I haven't been eating well. It doesn't mean that I, I haven't been like working on myself, like working out, sleeping well. It doesn't mean that, it just means that on that particular exam, even though I studied my butt off, even though I pulled it all night, I, I gotta I gotta see. Some things came up that I didn't expect. I didn't know we were gonna be talking about the nervous system. Teacher said we we're gonna be talking about this, you know? Like I didn't know, and same thing on your weight loss journey. Like you can plan and have the best intentions, but some nights you may not sleep well, and some nights you may not get all eight hours. And, like, and unfortunately, although you try to do everything that you can, sometimes the number just doesn't show your results. Now, does that mean that I am not destined to be a physical therapist? Heck no! Does that mean that I don't deserve or that I'm not going to get the body that I'm trying to get? No, it just means that it's not a perfect journey. You know, it's not... And I think that is like one of the downsides of being so transparent on this journey is that I share everything with you guys. I share the highs, I share the lows. And it's fun to celebrate like when the scale goes down and when it moves, it's so fun to do that. But like when the number, when the number goes up and it's like, oh shoot, like she's gaining weight. Like I'm okay with that now. I'm at a point to where I'm okay with that because I know it's like I did when I was going to school to be a physical therapist that no matter what, like I was still going to be a physical therapist. And like now my mindset is so strong and determined on this journey that I know that no matter what, like I am going to be a more fit and a more lean version of the woman that I am today. Yeah, but like I said, I didn't want to see you guys mixed emotions. I do want to share that although the scale is not like going down as fast as I would like it to, I am really happy with the results that I'm getting. Like I love the way that I feel. Like for instance, whenever I go to work, like I feel more, um, like in my scrubs, I just feel more, I feel more lean and I feel more muscular. I feel stronger um, when I'm transferring my patients, you know, I just feel stronger. Like I, I love it. I love the way that I feel. And then also ladies, you know, like whenever you're catching like side profiles of yourself, I enjoy the fact, I'll stand up here for you guys. I enjoy the fact, I enjoy the fact that um, like now I'm starting to go like in a little bit even you guys know my stomach is not flat so like don't come for me but let me show you like even here i can see where like there's a little bit more definition coming in like this used to just be totally round right so i mean i'm not calling these abs i mean they are technically right the muscle under them is part of my abdominals but like i can just see where me working on myself and i'm getting more lean like throughout here and then even like the side and then even the side prof and then even like i don't know i'm just i am just really proud of the woman that i'm becoming and even like i feel my posture is becoming like more like upright my shoulders don't feel as rounded anymore and but like i'm not saying i got guns or anything but just this is like from 
<laughs> don't call me out and be like, Felicia, we don't see no muscles. <laughs> don't call me out in that way, okay? But just from the short period of time that I have been lifting, like I do feel, I feel more toned and I feel like eventually, you know, my church wings are starting to get smaller there. So I wanted to be able to share my way in in a way of, I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me <laughs> because I don't feel sorry for myself. Like I'm truly over here just kind of like loving myself. I don't know if you saw my reel where I talked about like how I was reminding, how I was reminding the scale of like what God says about me, but that's truly how I feel. And as far as this weight loss journey goes, I'm not thinking about like weight loss all the time. I finally become the girl where these are just my habits. Like I get up, I do work, then I work out and I eat well and I drink water and I like, I try to get in, you know, I don't like go to bed thinking about, oh my gosh, okay, let's try to like actively get eight hours of sleep. No, I go to bed. I, I have a cutoff time so I force myself into bed so like during the day-to-day -day, like I'm just being a regular person I'm not just but I'm just letting you guys know like weight loss is a priority in my life right now but it's not like top of my and I'm sharing this because you can because you can too like eventually as long as you stay focused and determined on your journey you too will become the person where it's just what you do and I remember that before particularly when I was like an athlete like I didn't think about every day like oh you know I run track or like oh I'm a basketball player. like those were my, not my everyday thoughts but when people like when you see someone that runs track when you look at them you automatically like you know you're like oh they probably run track or like oh they probably work out or like oh they probably and that person's probably like standing in line at mcdonald's just ordering their food but you know and they're not thinking about as they're doing their day-to-day -day life like yeah i work out yeah i run track I, i'm probably like all over the place with that but i just wanted to share with you guys that you too as long as you stay focused and committed to your journey you too will become the person where it's just what you do is built into your life and when you guys see me sharing it's just because i want to inspire you guys and i just want to keep everyone encouraged because i know what it felt like when this what hap was happening now, like when this would happen to me before, I would quit or I would say, no, I'm not gonna lift, I'll just go back to only doing cardio. But I've had a strong mindset shift, which I am so thankful for. And yeah, I like, I like this. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. So yeah, number on the scale did not go down. I am currently a 222 pound woman. You guys, let's see the shirt off. I am currently a 222 pound woman. Let's see my back. I do have a goal of being under 200 pounds. So like, I don't want that to get lost in the shuffle either that I don't want to be under 200 pounds. Cause I do, I still do. Like I'm very pro bo body positivity, but I'm still like actively trying to lose weight. Like I've been, playing around with my diet, trying to figure out if I need to eat more protein, less protein, um, trying to figure out like if I wanna do OMAD or if I wanna do two mad. And to be quite honest with you guys, the two meals a day, um, you guys will see a lot of videos on the channel where I talk about one meal a day, but I've actually been eating like two meals a day, some days three, because lifting makes me more hungry. So if you guys wanna see videos where I do two meals a day, let me know if you wanna see what I eat in a day, if you wanna see day in the life. Like, I just wanna share my life with you guys, honestly. And yeah, that's all. If you have any questions or comments, please, please, please leave them down in the comment section. You guys know I am an open book. I will do my absolute best to answer all of them. Yeah, I gotta go work out. Yeah, so I need to go work out real quickly before I go to work. But as always, I appreciate you guys so much for being You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Oh, and, and of course, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And share this with a friend. Like, if you have a friend that's currently on a weight loss journey, fitness journey, and they're just getting bombed by their results or the results they feel they're not getting, because I promise you guys, something is happening. Something's happening under there. Don't give up. Send it to your friend. Don't let them struggle by themselves. Just send them a little bit of encouragement and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.